Yo! What up, y'all? And welcome back to a new one. A new one. Another one. It is a new one. You all have been requesting to see the pond. I have not showed you guys in so, so very long, and I apologize for that. We are uh, all finished up with guide season, and you got me back. Yes, you got Bob back. Uh, we need to check the pit blind, see how much sand blew in it. Uh, but we're planting today, and I will show you everything I got going on. Uh, starting out with this, let me turn this old loud truck off. The old Cummins just a clacking. But we're gonna have to do some smoothing. Uh, I went and priced harrows. Any of you know what a harrow is? Something you drag behind and it smooths the ground. Really expensive. Like the cheapest one I could find was only four foot. Uh, wide four foot long and it was like 400 bucks so we're kicking it old school and we're gonna do a little DIY here I bought two hog panels real heavy uh, hog panels we're gonna tie them all together make our own harrow but before we get going y'all one huge huge announcement yes books are open to the public any new client that hasn't been here uh, come on we have availability. Uh, if you want to come hunt here at Sand Hill Flyways and uh, stay at the old lodge, all you got to do is get a hold of me, guys. Uh, number one, if you're just like absolutely you want to come, no questions asked, and you just want to book your hunt, all the information is on uh, the sandhillflyways.com website. It is always linked down in the description below. First thing to do, fill out the inquire to book form. It just gives us some of your information, how many guys you have, um, and then we can get back a hold of you. Number two, the second way you can get a hold of me is Instagram. Instagram, quite easy for a lot of people. Uh, just DM me on Sand Hill Flyways, uh, and we can give you info and pricing and get you set up there as well. But if you're wanting a key date to come, you have to jump on it now because just like last year, we got full. And we got full real fast. I think we were pretty much full by the end of June, middle July. Yeah, definitely by July 1st we were full. So, there it is. Get a hold of me. I want you here. We have a great time. Y'all see the video. So, killer hunts. All right, back to the planting. I went and bought 50 pound bags of perennial. This is a perennial rye grass. So perennial means we plant it now and it'll come back every single every single year. If you get an annual, it's only good for that year and it don't come back. The perennial, a lot more pricey. Like three times the price per annual per bag. So yeah, each bag was almost $200. And the price of seed has gotten insane like the price of everything else. Let's get to work. Let's show you the pond. All right. I have quickly realized that we are balling on a budget, uh, trying to do a huge job on a budget. Hoping it works. What I did, so we got both uh, hog fences, hog panels, what I'm gonna call them. I overlapped them and then I wire tied it all the way down the middle. This has got some really good weight to it. Kinda wanna put some weight on it, but we got really sandy soil here and uh, that right there, these were $89 a piece. So basically I'm in at 200 bucks. And the four foot by four foot one was $389. And if this does the job, I just saved myself a lot of money right out the gate. So, let's pray this. This is a part that uh, I have just rednecked pretty well here. Not gonna lie. We got a strap, strap. we're gonna hook her here. Pray for the best. <laughs> Here we go. Comment down below, is this gonna work? I hope it does, because if it does, eh, it's, not our, it's not looking healthy already. Let's try that. If it works, I'll be very, very pleased. Moment of truth. Oh, pulls nice. Oh, it might work. Again, check it out. Really, really sandy. Extremely sandy. Y'all have been asking. Oh, it works. 
y'all have been asking about the pond and uh, I thought this would be a good video for all of us to do together um, it's gonna be a long video I got a lot to do and I'm gonna try to get it literally most all done today so it's working it's working Open this bad boy up. There we go. Now you guys can see what I can see. So here's the pond. This is what I'm wanting to smooth out. See these really, really big hills? These, all these ruts, these big hills. I kind of just want to knock them down before we plant. Because I'm probably going to have to use the uh, kids' quad. One of the kids' quad, probably Harper's, little 90. To plant this bad boy and it's gonna beat me around bad it's about the only thing i have to pull my uh cedar that i have it's cedar yeah old bob balling on a budget baby here's the pond though check it out it uh let's actually look at it real quickly for you guys you guys have been asking so much and uh as a lot of you know the midwest was extremely dry uh, over winter, over fall winter, we didn't have a even half an inch, quarter inch of rain, nothing uh, for about four months there. All basically all hunting season. There wasn't one muddy day in the field that we had here at Sand Hill Flyways this entire yeah this entire guide season. And now well, the other day we got about I think it was a cumulative of two to three inches. The pond was like right here because it hadn't had rain. Again, we don't have the well yet. The well will be over here. We gotta plant all this. There's a pit blind, yeah. We gotta plant basically all around the pond. Uh, but with about two, two and a half inches of rain, it got back to where it was. The pond holds. Time to get her planted. And then it's gonna be time to uh, get the well in. But here, check it out. Look at this. These big ruts, I don't know how I'm gonna. It does knock it down pretty good though. A lot better than that. Um, another thing, drop a comment down below before we get going again here. What should I plant along the bank edges? Now, I know there's gonna be people that say cattails, cattails, cattails. I don't necessarily want a bunch of cattails in here because once you plant cattails, it's really hard to get them gone and they can really take over a small pond and they soak up a ton of water. They use so much water that, especially not having a well yet, it would soak up my water. So, no cattails. Let's not, let's not comment cattails. What about something else? What's a good, I don't know, just something. I got ryegrass seed. I think it'll look pretty good. I'm gonna try to plant the banks as best as I can. Let's get to it again. Well. <laughs> It's probably been about an hour. Check it out, I've just been making loops. Doing really well. And really, really well for what we got going on here. Check this out. It's really smoothing it down so I can go ahead and start spreading seed. I've been finding heavy logs and just putting it on top of it. We're getting a lot of dirt and clay on there now. Making it a lot heavier, which is helping. But failure number one, we broke skinny you know what just junk strap and we had to upgrade to a bigger one this is medium strap hopefully we won't need mac daddy strap hopefully this one will do hopefully this one won't bust but our load has just gotten so heavy which is helping we'll be planting this bad boy here before long i have got stuck twice one was pretty gnarly but i'm by myself if you guys like these videos, the pond videos, being here with me, smash that thumbs up, guys. And plus, if you have any tips what I need to do, we're going to do some ryegrass. <clears throat> if you have any tips on anything else I need to plant, what you would like to see me do, please drop a comment down below. Uh, here in a little while, we will look at the pit blind. It did pretty good all winter long. It's, uh, it held up. Doesn't look like it has any leaks. It's going to work. We just got to get this planted. All right. Better put her in four wheel, differential lock, the whole nine. See if she works, boys and gals. Come on. Ah, oh, did not work. Dad gummit. Gotta back up again. Alright. Did it break or 
did the strap come off? What happened now? Oh no. Oh no, we done ripped her. We got too much weight on here now. No, oh, we're out here. It's my only option, not gonna lie. We got Harper's quad, like I said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, we got her hooked up. Not too bad, I think it'll work. We're gonna start spreading. I put a bag way over there, as you can see. A bag there, a bag here. Babe, scale of one to 10, how well do you think this little rig's gonna work? <laughs> I think it'll actually work pretty well. Yeah, I'm surprised that we've gotten as far as we have. Maybe the kids playing in the fun. They're always throwing it for Fred. Here, heel, set, set, good, stay, Fred. They love this pond. Time to get her looking good. Here I go. <clears throat> well. how far this is going to go. All right, let's give her a whirl. I imagine you'll need quite a bit. I got three bags. Look at them. Yeah. All right, here we go. See it spreading it? Yeah. He's proud of himself. You want me to quit filming? What's up, Ricky? Are you playing? You got old man Jackson here. Who, if you guys didn't know, has like a blood cancer in his in his belly. He has a big tumor in his spleen. He's not fat or pregnant, just geriatric and uh, on hospice care. So he still tries to keep up with Frederick, though. He does pretty good. Well, 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 it is two days later, actually, two days. Um, I got it done all by myself. Um, today is, God, what is today? Today's Wednesday. Oh, oh, it's going to get bumpy. We're driving back here. I want to show you all everything I did. Um, so, a couple things. First off, I started this project at midday. Literally, it was probably one, one o'clock in the afternoon when we started the video, when we started this project. I got done, 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 I believe at like seven. So roughly like six to seven constant hours of working on this bad boy. Now, I did spread 150 pounds of seed <laughs> with my daughter's little four-wheeler and it worked look how nice and flat it is now i did everything completely flattened out everything that i absolutely could i seeded around the pond really heavy extremely heavy and then i took the drag and then drug it all again so now the seed is actually fluffed underneath that top soil, so it's in there. It's actually in the ground. As you can see, we got a little seed just on the surface, but been wanting to look. 
See, there's some seed in there. That's good. That's real good. I flung it all down the bank. Hopefully she takes. Uh, yesterday, last night, actually yesterday evening, we had a little, little, little bit of rain. And it didn't, it didn't do a dang thing. I was hoping we were gonna get a little more. I don't want enough to where it starts washing really bad. That would not be good. You see this? I almost filled this whole goalie washer in. It's created its own drains, but I flattened it all out. All in all, it cost me, uh, that was $174 per bag of seed. So roughly you're looking at 550 bucks for seed. And then I ended up using all my own equipment, just making it work. As redneck as it was, I got it done. And this is a huge area. If I would have paid somebody to do this, y'all, I guarantee you with the, they would have upcharged me for seed, the time, fuel, equipment usage. It definitely, I would say somewhere around the ballpark of 2,000 bucks, 3,000 bucks, I bet. But the pit blind, check it out. See if we can get in here. Oh. All right, we're in here. I hope you can see something. It has stayed really dry. Just a little bit of sand has blown in here, but it's looking really, really good. A little bit of sand has blown in on the stairs. It worked. No, unfortunately, I did not get to hunt my pond at all. Didn't get to shoot a duck on it. Didn't get to shoot a goose on it. Nothing, but one step at a time. Um, like I told a lot of you guys last, last summer when I started this project, I was like, this isn't a one year project. It is huge. This is my five year project, to be quite honest. I don't have, I don't have the means to get this whole thing done in one year. Step by step, baby steps, and one day she'll be beautiful. It'll be completely grown in uh, once hopefully this rye establishes. Um, and after that, I'll start planting, you know, regular buffalo grass patches and stuff like that. Maybe get some cattails in that pond. Again, if you guys have any comments about what I should do, yes, we're getting a well in. Yes, I'm gonna bring in a bobcat on the next pond video probably. I'm gonna clean out this area. We've had a lot of sand blow in there. And before the spring rains really start, I wanna get that sand out of the bottom. See how much it'll actually fill up but it is uh, 44 degrees it was 82 yesterday y'all so again oh don't get stuck oh jeez oh jeez come on really oh yeah I'm getting a little stuck come on baby Hello. There we go. There we go. It's real sandy. Um, but pretty much I saved myself, I would say on a guesstimate. My seatbelt's going crazy. I would I would guess probably 1500 bucks minimum. I mean you guys tell me there's a lot of you guys that do this stuff for a business, landscaping, stuff like that. Drop a comment. I think I got it done. Maybe I didn't have all the best equipment in the world, but it worked. It worked. Hopefully, hopefully it works. <laughs> hopefully something grows. Well, we're at the lodge. Look who's here. We got Brad and we got Bert. Chef Bert's in town. Let's go say hi, see what they're up to. Hello. Hello. Yo, Bobby. Are you guys working? Look at these beauties. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
What are you doing over here? What, what are you doing in town? You're not supposed to be here. Oh, I know. Doing doing a little remote working from Sand Hill the next couple days. You've just been messing us again. Oh, yeah. I just can't stay away, man. This is home away it's from hard. home right it's here. It's hard to stay away from us. Oh, yeah. It really is. It's a lot just fun. Uh, Bert's getting prepared. We're going to do a big cook tonight. And I think we're going to either do our own video of the cook or put it on a pigeon hunt that we just did yesterday. Um, but the wife's really going to enjoy it. The kids are going to enjoy it. Awesome, man. I'm pumped. It's good yeah, to be we'll, back. We'll film all of, all of your chefing <laughs> abilities. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. But... Bert doesn't like to declare himself <laughs> a chef yet. I don't know. I just I feel like it implies I'm in some way qualified for this stuff. I'm just, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm just cooking for my buddies, so... <laughs> What are you doing over there? Just, uh, just hanging. Oh, old bear. What are you doing, man? Uh-huh. Sad boy. Sad. He's wore out from our little pigeon excursion yesterday. Yeah, we had a good pigeon hunt yesterday. We did. It was a traffic hunt. Went really well. What, we only, well, I shouldn't say we only killed. We killed 25, but that's the best that I've honestly, had with you down here. Yeah, I honestly thought it would be like a five or ten bird day. Yeah. 25. Our expectations going into it were not very high, so. Yeah, it, it really. was a pleasant surprise when we got out there and amidst the sandstorm going on. It was a it pleasant was surprise to shoot some birds. Yeah, we ran a traffic hunt yesterday, a little pigeon hunt. Shot 25. Uh, gusts, gusts of wind. Well above 40, 45 mile an hour, and sand blown to smithereens. I'm still digging sand out of my ears. All night I was. Yeah. I've had two showers. I can't get it all out of me. But uh, well, I used the old 20 gauge on a pigeon hunt, and it was awesome. That video will be coming up next, probably. But like I said at the beginning of this video, and I'm going to keep saying it, we are booking here at Sand Hill Flyway uh, for the 2022-23 season coming up. Uh, books are open to anyone out there that has never been here, who was here the first year, didn't come this last year, and wants to come back. Anything. We're done rebooking all of our returning clients, and uh, I'll have to say it's early right now. We're you know just getting into spring, and the dates that are available will not be available for very long. Uh, there is some November, a bunch of November dates left. And I know that that's one of the good months that a lot of you want to come experience duck and goose hunting. So if you're interested in booking a hunt here uh, coming up, two things you can do. Go to uh, Instagram, hit me up, Sand Hill Flyways, uh, get, shoot me a DM. Uh, the second thing you can do if you're just like, yep, hands down, I want to read the packages and I want to get our butts down there. You and the boys, two of you, four of you, six of you, ten of you, twenty of you, I don't care how many. Uh, you can go to the sandhillflyways.com website, which is always linked down in the description, and you can fill out the inquire to book form. What that does is it sends us an email with your phone number, your information, and I call you or my wife, Beth, will call you directly to see if we can make it happen. So I would love to hear from you all if you've been kicking it around, uh, been kicking around somewhere to go on a guided hunt, I welcome you to come here. It is, uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, the next video, we're going to end it with old Bertus cooking. So it'll be a little sample of what he does best. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have not. But until next time.